stupid dog. You made me look bad. <laughs> this is Marvelous Videos. I'm Grayson Ottaway. The 90s were the golden age of animation and a remarkable childhood memory for the kids of the time. But there is one cartoon that still haunts the minds of the millennials, the animated horror comedy Courage the Cowardly Dog, that may have been responsible for many horror enthusiasts in the present time. Created by John R. Dilworth, the pilot of the series first streamed on Cartoon Network as a short film. Later on, it was turned into an animated series for the Cartoon Network. Network. Distributed by Warner Brothers, domestic television and produced by Stretch Films, the series aired from 1999 to 2002. The adventurous trip through disturbing and paranormal activities around an elderly couple and a dog simply takes us back into nostalgia. Before we go into our explanation, a very small request. If you like our content, please support this channel by subscribing to it. Very small click for you, but for us, it means a great deal. Okay. The backstory of Courage, the adorable canine friend. The tiptoeing pink dog from our favorite horror comedy cartoon is no other than Courage. This hesitant little dog with floppy ears and obnoxiously giant teeth is seen to be living with an elderly couple named Muriel and her husband Eustace Bag in a farmhouse. It was located in Kansas near the town of Nowhere. For all we know about his history is that his parents named Henry and his wife were separated from their child at a veterinarian workplace. But what really happened, you ask? When Courage was a baby, his head got stuck in between fence bars while playing with a ball. He was taken to the veterinarian chamber of Pets of Tomorrow for treatment. He even got a lollipop from one of the doctors, but he had another accident where his tongue was stuck to the surface of the sucker. As he was sent back to be taken care of by his parents, they were nowhere to be found. His parents were forcefully sent to space on a rocket ship by an evil veteran. Crying little Courage was unable to stop the ship to get his parents out. This is when Muriel found and rescued him. Remembrance of Courage Past is the final episode where the veterinarian remembers Courage from his past and tries to send him into space too. But the madness doesn't stop there. Muriel and Eustace gets tangled in the mess too when they try to save Courage. The cruel veterinarian discovers that his life could be at risk if the word of his evil operation gets out. So he decides to send them all to space with courage as well. Courage gathers all the braveness in him and frees his owners while locking the wicked vet in the rocket. He gets sent to space and the episode ends with Muriel and Courage spending time on the porch back at their home. Could the trauma of Courage being separated from his parents be the reason for his skeptical and his nervous personality? Courage is easily startled and quite cowardly in nature, but he isn't hesitant to fight back when his owner's lives are at stake. The character is often seen to be doing regular dog-like things such as playing and digging, but also childlike activities such as building sandcastles and so on. Though Eustace is harsh on him, his selfless personality comes to light in each episode as he never takes Eustace's strict remarks at heart. In several episodes, Eustace and Courage often team up to save their lives and Muriel's. You either grow or go. Exploring some of his scariest story arcs. The episodes of Courage the Cowardly Dog are simply thrilling but eerie in nature, and some are just nightmare worthy. Though it is a children's show, some terrifying stories still stick with us today. The spooky animation and the music, along with paranormal or supernatural activities, really added to the show's character. To this day, one would simply grasp at some of the scenes that send chills down the spine. With that in mind, let's explore some of the scariest stories of Courage, the Cowardly Dog. There's no place to run. A night at The Cat's Motel. The Courage, the Cowardly Dog's first episode of season one is A Night at the Cat's Motel. It is written by Dilworth and Irvin S. Bauer and aired on the 12th of November 1999. The story starts with Courage and his family checking in at a spooky motel during a night of thunderstorms. The place is run by a red cat named Cats who informs them about the motel's no dogs allowed policy. Eustace 
leaves Courage outside on the porch, and Muriel covers him with a blanket to keep him warm. With scrapped wallpaper, off-putting paintings, spider webs, and ripped carpets, the details of the scenes are already frightening. In an interesting turn of events, we find out that Cats harvests human flesh-eating radioactive spiders that put all of their lives at risk. Courage hears frightening screams of Muriel and discovers that she's being attacked by one of the monstrous flesh-eating spiders. Courage seeks Eustace's help, but he's nowhere to be found. Terrified yet determined, Courage then decides to inspect, only to find a giant spider about to eat Eustace. Brave Courage then crushes the spider with a floorboard and rescues unconscious Eustace. Terrified Courage then escapes and hides in the basement, but to his utter shock, the spiders are stored in there. Cats corners Courage and challenges him to play a handball game. Winning this game would determine the freedom of our lovable pink dog, who is quite petrified at the moment. Courage accepts the challenges put on by Cats with tremendous bravery and valiant efforts. However, Courage soon loses and is on the verge of being a victim of Cats and his spiders. Cats tells how nobody has ever checked out of his motel. In the meantime, Muriel flushes the spider down the toilet and appears in the chaos between the two. She then hits Cats in the head with a badminton racket and rescues Courage. Muriel disses the motel service and drives away with her husband and the dog. The conflict of horror between Cats and Courage continues and turns out to be more terrifying later in the series. Cats's character symbolizes a wicked mind that appears calm, but you shouldn't think of him as anything less than a James Bond villain. Voiced by Paul Scholfer, Katz is filled with malevolent personality and antics. Though minimal, Courage's personality is considerate and self-sacrificing, which is what makes it a great impact on children. The House of Discontent Season 2's 12th episode of Courage the Cowardly Dog presents The House of Discontent, which is the first half that aired on 9th of November 2001. The story starts with Muriel praying to the Harvest Moon to bring life to a droopy flower on their farm. The farm has not been able to grow anything in years, despite Eustace's efforts. Being frustrated, the trio then returns to their chores. In the kitchen, Muriel hears some unknown voice telling her to evacuate her house. Muriel discovers nothing after trying to find where the voice is coming from. She hears the voice again, but it sounds more enraged and louder. The kitchen then starts to vibrate, utensils start floating, and the drawers open and close rapidly. When all these horrific paranormal events were not enough, the kitchen food comes to life and gets vicious on Muriel. In the meantime, Eustace also hears voices while taking a shower. The voices, with unknown sources, vaguely tell him to leave too. The sudden gripping scene takes place when water floods the room while breaking the walls of the bathroom. The tremendous force of the water along with the heavy weight of the bathtub results in the breakage of the floor and everyone gets sent to the basement. The trio then finally gets exposed to the ghoul-like presence of the source of the voice. As they look up they see a creepy head just floating around. The head then tells them that if the farm does not grow a plant by the night, they will be left with no choice but to evacuate the farm. He introduces himself to be the spirit of Harvest Moon. Despite Courage's best efforts to bring a plant to life, nothing works out. Midnight soon approaches and the wicked ghost holds Muriel and Eustace captive in the basement. With the rising heat, the couple's lives are again put at risk. Courage gathers all his strength and thinks of a trick. He brings the plant under Eustace's sweat and voila, the flower blooms and all the temperatures lower down. In the end, the ghost is seen to be praising Eustace for his farming skills, which makes Eustace feel proud of himself and his farm. He then also gets motivated and decides to sell his crops. Courage is just not brave at heart, but also quick to think when it comes to danger. Eustace's negligence towards farming has resulted in jeopardizing the lives of his loved ones. He constantly belittles Courage, but only his quick-thinking mind has gotten him and Muriel out of trouble in their time of need. This morale is something the children are constantly inspired by. On a lighter note, did you know that in the series, the spirit of the Harvest Moon is actually a live action? Not only that, this is the first story that we have heard Eustace say his classic word, stupid.
The Mask. The Mask is the seventh episode of season four and aired on the 18th of October 2002 on CN and is still considered one of the spookiest stories of the series. It all starts with a masked woman named Kitty who visits the farm and is absolutely disgusted by the existence of courage. Unaware of this, Muriel invites her to stay at the farmhouse, not knowing that Kitty has hit courage with a bin earlier. Over lunch, Kitty pours her heart out to gain the trust of the bags. She claims that her best friend named Bunny had a boyfriend named Mad Dog who abused and threatened them. Kitty was terrorized into fleeing as Bunny's life would come to risk if she didn't. She refuses to take off her mask when Eustace asks her to and explodes in anger. Throughout the scenes, Kitty finds opportunities to attack Courage as she contains immense hatred for dogs. She also refuses to take off her mask in several situations as she claims to be afraid to face reality. In the night, Courage discovers the shocking truth behind Kitty's mask. Turns out she's actually a cat who happens to be caught up in the evil mask. Courage also finds out that her best friend Bunny has gifted her a mouse that she holds dearly. Frightened by her truth, Courage gets concerned about his owner's safety and therefore locks the owners and steals the toy mouse as proof for the police. Upon further inspection and help from the mouse named Charlie, he finds out the truth about the mad dog. Turns out he's been holding Bunny captive in his room. In the meantime, Eustace criticizes Kitty, but it only proves that Kitty's fear to face the reality is only justified. Kitty successfully climbs out and Muriel unlocks the door with a bobby pin. Later on, Courage and Mad Dog get involved in a chase after he retrieves Bunny. The thrilling chase ends with a passenger train hitting them, thus injuring the evil gangster dog. In the end, Kitty reunites with her best friend and thanks Courage while acknowledging the goodwill. On a lighter note, Eustace is seen to be using Kitty's mask as safety equipment. The characters Bunny, Kitty and Mad Dog were first introduced in the series in this episode. Kitty did not really come off as a threat to Muriel and Eustace as her hatred towards courage was only because of a traumatic past experience with dogs. Kitty's fear to face the reality symbolizes how children are often forced to limit themselves from expressing their true selves, but it only needs a selfless helping hand such as courage to overcome that fear. Was Courage the Cowardly Dog based on real life? This question has always been a topic of debate since the series aired, and the answer is, well, yes and no. It is indeed true that the middle of nowhere was inspired by an actual place located in New Mexico named Truth or Consequence, and so is the house depicted in the series. The couple, Eustace and Muriel, were a nod to the elderly couple living in an actual house, the Pattersons. The Pattersons, who lived with their dog, often reported several paranormal incidents happening around their house, which includes the sighting of a creature that they called Skinwalker. The existence of New Mexico Skinwalker is not some sort of myth. They are as existent as humans are, since they are an entity accepted by doctorate level anthropologists. In fact, they are even described as similar to humans. Around 1957, however, they disappeared and only a dog was left behind. There are many speculations right ranging from espionage, alien abductions, and even kidnapping and double murder. One of the most believable reasons could be related to David Parker Ray, the coldest serial killer in New Mexico around that time. On the other hand, the creator of the show, John R. Dilworth, has said that Courage is based on the dog that he had as a child, who was also very cowardly, and Eustace is based on his personality. Last but not least, he lived on a farm in the Midwest as a child. Some Sometimes reality is stranger than fiction. What was Courage really like in the show? How often has one seen a small pink dog with tiny limbs, long ears, human-like large teeth, 
with a hole in one and walking on tiptoes always, probably never. And that's what makes courage unforgettable as part of our childhood. He is an anxious, cowardly dog who is afraid of everything his eye meets, except for Muriel, who rescued him and coddles him with lots of love and affection. He dislikes Eustace just as much as he loves Muriel, but he's learned to take no offence to the harsh words and the short temper of the old man. But when the situation calls for it, Courage will go to any extent to save his owners from all perceived dangers they're in and show strength true to his name. He might not always be successful, but he still tries to save Eustace from the bad guys. Sometimes the old man is patient enough to team up with the dog to save Muriel because we all know they would never be able to forgive themselves if something happened to that sweet old lady. Courage doesn't need to be bribed to act selflessly. He also does not showcase any hero complex or brag about his bravery. He truly acts out of the love he holds for the ones in need. His most famous dialogue the things I do for love shows the enormous amount of endurance and bravery he has for his loved ones. It's safe to say that Courage really does live up to his name. No! The cowardly dog still has some remarkable abilities. Cartoons apply a concept called Toon Force, which permits creative license around what the characters can do, even if they're breaking the law of physics. But the thing with Toon Force is that it removes the distinction between things done for comedic effect and the actual abilities of the characters in the show. Whether it be his planet-shattering scream, staying underwater for long periods of time, shape-shifting into the monsters and evil guys he's chasing, although it might just be a form of self-expression, superhuman regeneration generation abilities, as in suffering a fatal injury, but reverting to being alive and healthy in the next episode, colossal strength without any explanation when he was facing mecha courage, breaking the fourth wall or making objects out of thin air, he will use each and every card he has to ensure Muriel's safety, and sometimes Eustace's too. Some crazy and scary theories around Courage, the Cowardly Dog. The Lost Episode Back in the 90s and early 2000s, Cartoon Network allowed their creators a lot of freedom to create the content they liked, and it often got a bit much for a kid's television channel. Many cartoons had some of their episodes shelved as they were deemed too gory and explicit for children. One of these episodes depicted Courage wearing a mask and sitting in Eustace's rocking chair with an evil grin on his face. Then he proceeded to drag both of his owners to the basement torture them in various ways while they screamed for help and then strangled them to their deaths with a rope. Phew! Kinda glad we didn't see this on television when we were kids, especially when the show itself had quite a few scary moments in general. Stupid dog! Oh! The abusive owner. Eustace has always shown a quick, irritable temperament and jealousy towards courage because Muriel pays him too much attention and doesn't give Eustace his dinner on time. There's a theory that states that courage is actually a small boy who is constantly verbally abused by his father and called names such as useless or stupid dog, which led him to develop low self-esteem and extreme anxiety at the sight of strangers, thus the exaggerated villain of the occasional visitors and visible panic and anxiety. As dark as this theory gets, it all makes sense when you look at the interaction between Eustace and Courage. Ow. Hey, what's this? The Real Life Villains When it comes to the various character traits of the villains, we can collectively agree that they are terrifying, have a brutal modus operandi, and sometimes seem too real. It's because they were inspired by criminals and their behavior. Take Cats and the zombie director Benton Tarantella, for example. Their behavior is similar to serial killers. Fred seems to be exalted from a sexual predator since he always felt 
felt naughty, and the cruel veterinarian from Sergei Korolev, the Russian rocket engineer who sent many dogs to space and inevitably led to their deaths. Eustace himself serves as one of the main antagonists in the show, who depicts an angry, abusive owner and husband to Muriel and Courage. Eustace is the worst of all of our bad decisions. His ungrateful nature and harsh treatment towards close ones are something that labels him to be one of the real-life villains. There's no place to run and no place to hide. Why did this brilliant show end up getting cancelled? What made Cartoon Network cancel such an amazing show? There are many speculations, such as the network itself deeming the show too scary and horrific for children to watch, but looking at how they released four seasons without any hitch, this theory doesn't quite sound right. Upon asking the creator John R. Dilworth, the reason for its cancellation turned out to be quite simple. Dilworth had a contractual obligation to release a total of 104 episodes, and after the contract was fulfilled, CN didn't feel the need to renew the contract sadly, which led to an abrupt end to Courage and his misadventures. Although in 2018, Dilworth announced on his social media that there are talks of a prequel named Before Courage going on with Warner Brothers, and the release date would be announced soon. Regrettably, in January of 2022, Dilworth revealed that the project was dropped due to management changes at Warner Brothers and Cartoon Network and changes in priorities. Courage, the cowardly dog, has always been a keen or nostalgic memory for many. The humorous elements of the series are worth a giggle, and Courage evoked various emotions, the feeling of frustration when Courage was being mistreated, and the relief at the end of each episode when all three of them were back in the house, grumpy but safe. It will not be iconic, and although it's been cancelled long ago, the fact that you're sitting in front of your laptop, tablet or PC and watching this video after all these years only goes to say what a strange masterpiece it was. If you like our content, please don't forget to leave a like and do subscribe to us if you haven't already. Have a good one, and please be safe.